Good morning, everybody. Got pretty chilly in here last night. It's uh, starting to warm up a little bit. It's 55. It was 54 degrees in here when I woke up a little while ago. Um, man, chilly. It was cozy in the bed, though. Mm. Probably could have used that diesel heater last night. It's going to warm up the next five days. Laid in bed a few extra minutes this morning because it was chilly. We're going to eat our cup of noodles here. Get ready to go to work. Then we got tomorrow off. So I don't know if I want to come here tonight. I'm, I'm torn. I want to stay in town to turn, you know, just to see it. But I want to come out here because I don't want to get up in the morning. So we'll probably end up trying to come out here. Like I said, it's a Friday night. By the time I get out of work and get out here, and then I really need a couple of little grocery items. So I'm going to stop by the grocery store. Yeah, it's going to be like 7.30, 8 o'clock by the time I get out here. So it's going to be very tough to find a spot. So maybe we'll be forced to stay in town tonight. Who knows? I don't know. That's how it is. But all right. Since I stayed in bed for an extra 15 minutes, I got to get eaten, get dressed, get going. Uh, so we will talk to you some point later on today. All right, everybody. Finally out of work. It was a very, very, very busy day. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to run to the grocery store. Um, I'm not going to cook anything tonight. If I do anything, it'll be cup of noodles or... Uh, chicken tender or something like that. I got one of them sausages left. Still got shrimp. I got all kinds of stuff I could do. But we're going to try to get in the woods and get a spot, guys. So let's go see what we can do. Okay, so you try to do this coupon thing. You do what it says and it never works. But we're getting one of these for $2.99 today. That's all there is to it. It's on sale. We're getting one of those. Oh, right there we want. Nashville hot tenders. Yeah. Um, uh, we just have a Alright, so they lied to me. They're just the regular tenders. That's okay. I can, I can jack them off with that cheese. We're getting our ice cream on sale. So let me get some uh, tortillas. I've got, I've got the uh, pitas. But those are really too small or too thick. And the street taco size is really too small to make a wrap. And I think I'm going to make a wrap for uh, Sunday maybe. So we got to find the tortillas. I'm going to change them every day. Still got some green onions at home. Let's the actual Hispanic, let's get the real better ones. I always wanted to have the better ones here. Just for going back. I think the ones made with real lard are much better. Chips and cheese a bit too for snack later. I know I'm gonna be hungry. Flour tortillas. 
10 of them. A lot more than we need. Oh wait, here, nope, they do have the... These are on sale. Cheese. Soda, we need a soda. Sodas are sodas all the way down the other end. Yeah, I think a uh, chicken wrap would be pretty good. I don't know if I should get some lettuce. I should. But you gotta buy such a big, big portion of lettuce. It sucks. Oh, it's gonna get chips and cheese dip, right? What do you think? I mean, lettuce is basically just water. If I got the, sh the spinach, that wouldn't be bad, but what do you do with 10 pounds of spinach? Yeah, it's just too much money. To buy something, I'm just going to throw most of it away. We like to put some lettuce in there, just for the freshness. Put some spinach in, what the heck. Here's what it is. I want some freshness. Alright, let's get our soda and get the heck out of here. Chicken for these sausages. But I got, I got chicken, I got shrimp, I got sausage. Everything I need. Bacon. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. Soda. Then you gotta get the can. Chips and dip. I can never find anything in this store. I've all gone past every aisle and I can't find a soda. I think the glasses off may get out. Is a hot, but this one has cheesy enchilada. I I may like it, I may not, but uh, I'm not going to try it. Oh, they do have it here. What do you know? And uh, we got about five of them. Be at the two twenty nine price. But okay, hey, 
They do have the hot now. They didn't last time I looked here. And we'll look for the cheap chips. Which I am not seeing the cheap chips. I actually like the ones that are, you know, the $2.99 bag or whatever. Well, here's one, the Calienda. Calienda? I don't know, maybe. Try that one. Okay. Get the chips. Okay, let's go check out. Okay. Safely done. Sorry, guys. Let's go see if we can get a spot. It's a be again a beautiful night tonight, and I don't want to be stuck on the side of the road. I mean, if it is what it is, you know. I mean, if we can't get a spot, but I think I can find something. But I'd really like to sleep in tomorrow, and I'd have to worry about getting up. Um, Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to go and, uh, oh man, I forgot the sodas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I forgot the sodas on the ottoman. They're just sitting there rolling back and forth going doink, doink, doink. That's not good for your soda. Okay. Shouldn't be long till we're at camp. Okay. We're on a mission. Find a camp spot. Alright, so we're trying. This isn't looking good. This is just the side of the road. And there's somebody already parked here. those two groups they sh they shrank overnight but there's still quite a bit of people there four in the first group three six seven in the second group uh, it's not looking good guys I can see most rigs and I think all the spots Already. Friday night, I didn't think I was going to luck out. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. There's one more. I really don't want to go up there. I mean, that is a double spot right there, but I don't want to be that close to that dude. He was outside, I might ask him. He's got a pretty nice rig. Oh, that's not the same one I thought it was. Yeah, I got this one up here. That's, that's taken. Okay, well, we're going to go up on top. Is I think we're coming into the homeless area. Did they? There was a trailer over here that's been here, and it run down, nasty, gar full of garbage. Oh, he left all his garbage. When you know, cooler there, garbage. But he's gone, I don't know. Yeah, at least he's gone. This was a trash hole. Oh man, don't tell me that he moved over there. He may have just moved.
Okay, so I don't think I'm going to make my chicken wrap for tonight. I've got those shrimp. I've got uh, the sausage. So I think what I'm going to do is just stick the tenders. Ziploc bag so they don't dry out. Got to find, figure out what I want to do tomorrow. Not real sure. Part of me wants just to go you know, like do laundry and relax and you know all those kind of things. But part of me wants to go out and really do something. Because I only got one day off. Then I go back to work for two. And then I got one more off. Okay, so take some of the spinach. Really a shame. I'm going to end up throwing 90% of this away. But we'll get a little greenery in us before we do. There's that. Get some shrimps. Left over from the other night. Just really got to do it with your hands. It's the easiest way. That'll be good. I'll finish up all the shrimp making this wrap. Wet wipe? Oh, subject to wet wipes. You know the generic uh, dude wipes that you get at Wally World? Don't buy those. They stink. They, I mean, they're just, they're complete garbage. They just fall apart. You're like wiping yourself or whatever else off, and they just leave like shards of fabric everywhere. Yeah. Not worth the... A little bit of savings. Some of this Carolina Reaper cheese. thought I got the bigger ones. These are kind of small. I know I don't like even this size, but this ain't much bigger than a street taco. I thought I got the burrito style for more for wraps. This is going to be tight. You know what? It's too, it's too small. Yeah, there's no way it's going to go around. You have to make two of them. Shrimp just rolled right in there.
shoes on that one. Yeah, so I don't know what we want to do tomorrow. I don't know. I'll give John a call here in a little while. See if he had something in mind. Okay, sour cream. You know, like, I mean, I understand, you know, if somebody's down on their luck and stuff, but there's no need. That where they uh, left all that garbage, the first picture, that guy ran his truck when I was here a couple weeks ago, um, ran his truck into a tree. He must have been going 50 or 60, if you remember that video. Um, I think it was a couple weeks, a couple weeks ago, a couple, three, four, I can't remember how long ago it was, but it was a while back. Um, yeah, and that just, you know, first off, you ruin it for everybody because your trash is there. And nobody won't see it. You know, your trash shouldn't be there. Take it out with you. Throw it away. There's, go anywhere and throw trash away. It's easy to find a place. And then, you know, you've got a broken ass down trailer, dogs that are chasing after people, you know. I really am hoping that the Forest Service towed it out. That's what they should have done. He had no way of towing it. He trashed his truck. Okay, knife. I need a knife now. With my knife. Don't tell me I left my knife. Oh, my, the only thing in here is my sponge and my wet wipes, dish soap, my squeegee. Where'd my knife go? Sometimes I put the knife on the side. And there's a knife on the side. That's not the one I'm looking for, but it'll do. So there's our chickens. I had a pretty good good sized lunch today. I had a a full one of these chicken tenders, like when I said yesterday, they're pretty big. And I bought a, uh, I had a side of mac and cheese that I had gotten from the grocery store. I put, you know, the mac and cheese and the chicken and some of the hot cheese. And I, I, I didn't finish it all. I, I, it was really good, but there was no way I could finish it all. But it was, I did, I did pretty good. I'm not going to eat right now. I just want to have something ready. So if I get hungry, I'm just grab it. And I'm much more of a snacker. I like to cook, but to sit down, make dinner, and then sit and eat a whole bunch. No, that's not me. Okay, so I like four little half half wraps. Those are those wraps are way too small. I may I may throw those away and go get. A different size because that's just too small for what I really wanted to do. Still, I can barely get them closed. The little bit I put in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. We'll go outside, take a look, and then we'll get back with you. All right. So this is what it really looks like between my camera and what it looks like outside. I'm going to put it in auto and you'll see what it changes to. It makes it look like daytime. 
know, with these settings, you can, I mean, it looks, you know, like it's five o'clock, six o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it's better for you guys so you see, you know, so it's not so dark. But, oh, I don't know. I said that. That trash over there, it just that's disgusting. And somebody was here in the fire pit. There's all kinds of, I don't, it's like paper plates and stuff. The, the tires that here are here look pretty aggressive, big vehicle. Uh, you know, I don't know, big, big Mercedes or Sprinter with the big tires or, you know, some other overlanding or who knows. But there's all kinds of trash in that garbage or the fire pit, sorry. You know, sometimes I try to clean up and take some of the stuff out with me. But, like, I'm not going into where that homeless dude was at all. I don't know. I'm not touching a darn thing over there. Um, I'm going to look in this garbage or the fire pit tomorrow and see what's in there. If it's just paper plates and stuff, I mean, I'll take them out. But that, that tra drives me nuts. You know, it's just like when I was hiking. People, you know, would just wouldn't bury their toilet paper or, or, they, or they would bury it where you're supposed to take it out. On the Appalachian Trail, they tell you you can bury it. That stuff's everywhere, all over the ground. I carry mine out, whether they say to or don't to. Pacific Crest Trail, you, you're supposed to. Um, Appalachian, they say, oh, it degrades so quick, it's no big deal. There are places that just looked like mushroom fields because there was so much toilet paper. Oh, it was disgusting. Bad for animals, everybody. But I think uh, we're going to call it a night. Video gets too long, but again, you know, work. Go grocery shop and come home, you know, figure out what you're going to make. Van life's just like your life, except look where I am. I don't have to pay rent. And, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to make van life seem bad at all. I, I mean, it, it's not all roses and unicorns trust me but i love it i love being able to if i don't like it here tonight i could go so over there or, you know over there i don't like the town i'm near or the desert i'm in i could just leave you know um obviously i've got a job now so you know i can't just like leave it up and go to you know new mexico tomorrow but we'll get the coffers filled back up and get our investments going again. Never know what's going to happen. I got lottery tickets for tonight. I can wake up in the morning and be really, really, really rich. Next video you see could have me in a big, massive $400,000 sprinter. Doubt it, though. Trust me. But you never know. Come back tomorrow and see. All right. Uh, hey, you guys have a great night. Um, you know, is, uh, thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing, liking, all those good things. And have a good evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Jellybean Outdoors.